Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? How are you all doing? Hmm. So so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I keep thinking it's Friday today for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know why. I've been thinking that a week to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I think all the events that's gone on, I think it's screwing everybody's uh, sense of days, times and planets that's gonna do it again on Monday when there's another bank holiday, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, true. True. Mm. Right. I'll get some of the uh, chat that we've had in. So let's have a look. So our first thing we've got D says good evening host. Hi D. Hello D. Hi D. And then we've got Mary. She says evening everyone and those in chat as well. Hi Mary. Hi Mary. And then we've got Warren James says hi all. Hi Warren. Hey Warren. Hi Warren. Hi Warren. And we've got Dave, DS Models and Vintage. Hello, everyone. Hope you have a brilliant show. I'm in the garage again tonight with Matilda. Hi, Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Hi. And then we've got Dave Mark says, uh, good, evening, good evening, everyone in chat. Good luck with your project and the show. It's Thursday night. Let the quiz begin. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. Hi, Dave. And I've got Dave Mark. I finished the Titanic today. I'll be putting the video up tomorrow. It's been great building it. Wow. Well done, Dave. So send me the pictures, Dave. If you want me to put them on the uh, Northern Model Builders Facebook group, I will I'll do that for you. And then we've got uh, Dave says, uh, good evening to the hosts. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Yeah. Right. Hi. What's um, I was going to say? So if Dave's out in the, so Dave's having an affair with Matilda in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about that, Chris? <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah. <laughs> 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 Seems to be spending more time with Matilda now. Yeah, going out. It's cold tonight. <laughs> as it's been cold, it was cold earlier when I was taking Ted out. But yeah, yeah as we the talk today. Definitely dropped. I mean, I'm still mm. going to work in a t shirt and uh, shorts. And I went in this morning and I was like, oh, it's a bit nippy. So mm. it won't be long. It'll be dark nights. It's already getting dark now. And it's. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it is. Right, I'll get a few more comments we've had in and then we'll look around what each of us are working on. So we've got Dave Mark saying, thanks, Mark. Will do. <laughs> And then we've got Peter Webster says, evening all. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. So, right. Um, let's see, where are we at? Right. So, Holix, I'll come to you first to show us what you're working on. Just working more on the old motorbike. Just, it's next to me, so it was easy to grab. So, yeah. Nice. I've done some before the show, like some of this I've done. So I'm not sure how far I'll get, but I'll try and get some of that. Right, Gillian, I'll come to you next. Well, I'm still um, doing the Titanic. I've done all this and I've just been sitting here. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's back. coming along nicely, is that now? Yeah. Right, Mark, I'll come to you next. Yes, I'm not muted. So I'm going to start this tonight. It's a 3D puzzle of the Titanic that uh, Jay got me. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that looks good. Going to give it a start. It's quite big as well, isn't it? If you know I mean. Yeah. yeah uh, it's nice. It's got the LEDs in it as well. Oh, that yeah. excites me. 266 pieces. Oh, that's wow. cool. As soon as I saw that LED inside, I was sold. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chris, I'll come to you. Yeah, I'm carrying on with my norm from last week. Oh, oh. oh wow, look at that. Oh, bless. Beautiful. I have it on a side because I can't reach the top. <laughs> Uh, right, Jay. 
Well, I've got nothing really because all mine got stuck in the post, but I've got the quiz and I've got some colour in, so I might just do a bit of that while I'm answering the questions, you know what I mean? So Nice. Right, so I'll come on to what I'm doing with my camera. Um, there we go. Right, so I'm going to be carrying on with the gnomes. It's the Happy Halloween one that I've started. And I've just got this one, well, a little bit in the face here, and then this one last square to finish. Ooh. So, yeah. Very spooky. Thank you. Right. So, yeah, like Jay said, he'll be uh, doing the quiz tonight. Do you want me to get these last few comments before we go into the quiz? Yeah, you can do. Okay. Right, so we've got uh, Dave Mack. Um, I've sent the pictures, I've sent the photos, Mark. Thank you, Dave. I'll have a look at them and sort them out for you. And then Peter Webster, my wife is doing me a diamond painting of the three underneath Volkswagen buses, the VW buses. Oh, oh wow, cool. yeah, he corrected himself underneath. Yeah, VW. I've and got that one there. as well, um, which I'll be starting maybe after this one because i got that at the same time got the bike and i've got the one with the three colored vw buses so yeah amazing nice yeah right right so we've got a bit of a disney quiz tonight right everybody ready yep yeah yeah Right. With these quiz cards I've got, they've actually got five questions per film. So I did speak to everybody and they said just do the first question on each card and we'll keep going round like that until we uh we use them all. But there's something like about one thousand five hundred questions, so we could be a while. Do you know what I mean? So right. The first question is um, about Ratatouille, the film Ratatouille. And it says, Where does Remy hide whilst helping Lugrini cook. Where does Remy hide whilst helping Lugrini hook cook? Oh my word. What's up, Lovie? All right. Yeah, no, it's just I'm looking at this, but um I didn't realise that they actually give you another puzzle for free inside oh, the right. kit. <gasps> Oh, okay. And then there's another slight problem. One of the free kits to do do give you, I think it's just it's at random, is a root master boss. Oh, okay. Oh. And what did you get? I got the Statue of Liberty, which I'm gonna start building now. Oh, okay. Oh no. I did not know that. No, I didn't when I got it for you. Oh no. Right. 
梁王失学。Let's see if we know these answers. Let's uh, see who else can answer it now. Where does Remy hide while helping Rugini cook? Fix. Is that bit of a okay? What's that noise? It's yeah, snoring. Right. It's what? Dave snoring. I thought so. Oh, bless him. I was just checking everything was okay. He's enjoying the show then. Yeah. Oh, bless. The quiz must be riveting. He's been at work all day, bless him. Yeah. We're yeah. used to it. Yeah. <laughs> It's when he has his head in a certain position. <laughs> oh. Alex, where do you what do you think the answer is? Oh, sorry. So, I'm um, I don't know under the kitchen work top thing under the. I don't know. I've seen a clip of that too, and I think. There was they hide under under the unit, the kitchen unit. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Judy. Um yeah, I'd I'd say the same, you know, under the kitchen unit. Mark. In his chef's hat. Chris. In the pantry. Judy. Under the table. Okay, uh, Mark, uh, Dave McBill says behind the freezer. It's actually he hides under the chef's hat. Oh, that's where he is, isn't he? When he's instructing, if you watch Ratatouille, he's there instructing Remy's obviously the the, the mouse, and he's instructing him what to cook and how to cook. It's underneath his hat, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I've got one right. It probably the only one I do get right. Okay. Second question is based on Sleeping Beauty. What is Sleeping Beauty's real name? What is Sleeping Beauty's real name? Johnny Dave. Someone's popular. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> right. One answer. Uh, Warren James, where did I get the model that you got marked? I got it on uh, Amazon. But you can get it on eBay, you can get it on various places like that. Right, we have one answer. So, what is Sleeping Beauty's real name? Alex? Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. No, I think I knew it, but. Uh, I guess Esmeralda. Esmeralda? Mark? Jody Dev. <laughs> Chris. 
Okay. Jillian? I don't know. Dave McBell says Princess Aurora, which is correct. That is her real name. Oh, wow. yeah. Right, we'll go for the next one. This one is based on the Jungle Book. Right. What is the, it's a quite an easy one. What is the name of the boy that, that the animals call Man Cub? What is the name of the boy that the animals call Man Cub? I'm the king of the swingers of Jungle VIP. Julie, if you get this wrong, you really need to go back to your training. I do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't be good if I got this one wrong. No. I won't you. I won't you. Do you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. Answer Dave McDonald's again. Right, Alex. Uh, Mowgli. The boy that's the animal's called Mowgli. Mowgli. Okay. Judy? Mowgli. Mark? Mowgli. Chris? Mowgli. Jillian? Mowgli. Yep, you're all correct. He is Mowgli. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll have a Toy Story question next. Right. What what kind of toy is Rex? Is he A, a dinosaur, B, a dog, C, a shark? What type of toy is Rex? A, a dinosaur, B, a dog, or C, a shark? So it's 55. Oh, this is Do, do, oh, Dave Matt put uh, Mowgli in the chat as well. Yeah, I did say that, yes. What numbers? 76. Thank you. 
Have a couple of answers in already. Three hours. Cool. Give me another couple of seconds and then we'll let it pass. Right. What kind of toy is red? A, a dinosaur, B, a dog, C, a shark. Alex? A uh, dinosaur. Judy? Dinosaur. Mark? Dinosaur. Chris? Dinosaur. Gillian? Dinosaur. Yep, yeah, it is a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's have a look. A finding, a finding Dory question now. What does Dory remember she has whilst on a field trip with Mr. Ray and his class? What does Dory remember she has whilst on a field trip with Mr. Ray and his class? Hill be home tomorrow from Scotland yeah. after his sponsored land then to John O'Groats. Yeah. Under a lot of bud. The gatebox has gone on his car. Oh. Oh. We've got a car trailer and motorbikes going on. <laughs> That's not ideal, is it? No. I said it could be the six grand for his gearbox. Has he got a newish car then? Yeah, I don't know what year it is though. What is it? What do you know what it is? I don't know. Warren James said, no, Jillian Dots, Mum, tell Dad to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I feel shout really loudly. <laughs> don't wake up. <laughs> oh, dear. Bless him. Oh. Nobody's answered it. It's quite a what does Dory remember she has whilst on the field trip with Mr. Ray and his class? Alex? No, I can't remember. Julie? I don't know. It's one I haven't watched. Mark? Have not got a clue. Chris? Don't know. Julie? Don't know. <laughs> okay, the answer is Dory remembers she has a family. Yeah. Well, we have watched Finding Dory. Uh, this is two into the second one. Yeah, we have found it. The first one was Finding Nemo, the second one was Finding Dory, and we have watched Finding Dory. 
Uh, that's another easy one for you. It's based on Dumbo. Dumbo has very large what? A, feet, B, eyes, C, ears. Little punters, you've got to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> How do you sleep, Gillian? <laughs> quite hard, it's quite hard trying to sleep. <laughs> oh dear, you deny it to the door, but you all know you do. You'll be able to watch it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tonight's stream is brought to you by the dulcet tones of Georgie snoring. If I do what I do, go to bed, I'm not even tired. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> yeah. See? You heard what he does? Snoring. snoring. See? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> If you're going in the kitchen, anybody close the blinds? <laughs> right. Add a couple of answers in. Uh, Dumbo has very large what? Feet, eyes, or ears? Alex? Oh, that's a tricky one. Ears. Yep. Okay. Judy? Ears. Mark? Ears. Chris? Ears. Julian? Yes. It is ears, yes. Dave McBill says eyes. Ian Campbell says ears. So, yes, it is ears. And obviously, it's Dumbo the elephant. Hi, Ian. 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 Hello, Ian. <laughs> Ian. Next question is based on Peter Pan. True or false? Tinkerbell instantly likes Wendy. True or false? Tinkerbell instantly likes Wendy. <laughs> Are you little something when you go to bed? He's scared that we have his feet lying here with this small view of the part of the center. Oh, my. Who was that? 
Oh, that was my bad. It wasn't me, that's for sure. So don't blame me for that. He drinks too many energy drinks and he ends up doing that. The noise is coming from the north <laughs> up there today, is that? Pretty loud, isn't it, up there? <laughs> Any more funny noises to come out of this stream tonight? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, True or false? Tinkerbell instantly likes Wendy. Alex? Um, yes. I don't know, but yeah, I guess yes. Yeah. Okay, Julie? False. Mark? True. Chris? False. Julian? False. It is false, yes. She did not get on with Wendy. Charming. Right, we've got a Toy Story question now. True or false? Ham is a soft toy. True or false? Ham is a soft toy. Ian Campbell says the Northern Model and Belching Club. <laughs> well, the noises that can come from Mark's Mods, me and Jordy, yes, it could well be. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think we could give a good rendition of a song if we tried, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know another YouTuber that can come on and join part of that and all. Yeah, yeah. True. That just takes it to another level, though, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> These diamond painters are so difficult, aren't they? Because you, I'm doing it all the one, I'm picking one. But you. As soon as you put them away, look, there's another one. As soon as you put them away, you can't see them. And as soon as you put them away, you see them. It pops back out again. Yes. No, I mean, right, you're going through. I'm doing all the question marks right now. And then you look and you look. And you're like, oh, there's definitely no more. And then you go to do the next colour and then you find the load. Yep, true. <laughs> I just don't get it. I think maybe it's just the eyes just get used to... Right. We had a few answers in. Let's see if we can get it. True or false? Ham is a soft toy, Alex. I think it's false. Judy? I don't know. Mark? I don't know. Chris? False. Julie? False. It is false because he's a piggy bank. Yes, I thought so. Oh, yeah. I, the pig. I love Toy Story. Great film. Right. The next one is based on... And so, yeah, so we got Warren James false, Dave Matt Bills false, Warren James false, and he's got True as well. So, yeah, all right. Um, right. I've got a question on Wally. Wally stores the plants he finds in what? A boot, a vase, or a teapot? Wally stores the plants he finds in what? A boot, a vase, or a teapot? You've got a friend in me. All right, so what number was that? 45. So next one is 49.
So, Chris, do you know what um, Dave's fiddling with, with Matilda? Um, he was putting an arrow of sea badger on last time I looked up. Had a look. He's fiddling with his nipples. No, he couldn't get any. Why couldn't we get Nick? I thought he found some of the other night on the air. Uh, on the There's three sneakers we're talking about. They went to um, Sofa Serve, Hotel Sofa Serve, and they didn't have any. <laughs> Right, we've had a few answers in. Um, Wally stores the plant he finds in what? A boot, a vase, or a teapot? Alex? Mm, I haven't actually seen Wally, but I'm going to guess a boot. Okay, Judy? A boot, I think. Mark? Uh, I'm just going to say a plant pot. So a vase, you think? Okay, Chris? Teapot. Teapot. Gillian? Um, I don't know. The answer is a boot. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a nice, easy one. <laughs> this is on cards. What colour is Lightning McQueen? What colour is Lightning McQueen? We've got to get this one over else Oliver will make us sit and watch it. God, not again. Yeah. <laughs> I like cars. I used to, well, I've watched it years ago, but the yeah. first one. They've, they've brought out a couple of them, they have that one. Quite a few, yeah. They have. 66. Oh. Just say hi to Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. He says, I see you saw the legendary Don John Mansell today, Mark. Yes, I did. Ready? What colour is Lightning McQueen? Alex? Red. Really? Red. Mark? Red. Chris? Don't know. Gillian? Gillian? Oh, sorry, you didn't get it. That's all right. It is red, yes, of course. It is red. Right, this. Uh, right, we've got another uh, Dumbo question here. What colour is Dumbo's magic feather? What colour is Dumbo's magic feather? That's the last one, 69. Uh, 
返しちゃうのかな、うん、なんかいいえ No, that is thirty seconds. Yes. See how we go. What color is Dumbo's magic feather, Alex? Um, not to know. White. <laughs> I don't know. Judy. White. Mark. White. Chris. White. Judy. I don't know. The answer is actually black. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. I just assumed it would be white because that's a feather colour, really. I suppose yeah. you can get black ones if it's a black bird. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. This is off Bolt, the film Bolt. What is the name of Bolt's favourite chew toy? I've never heard of that film. What, Bolt? No. That's brilliant. Uh, superhero dog. Oh, you really need to start watching Disney Plus. Yeah, I've, well, I have, but I've, well, I've watched the Star Wars, one of them. Then I watched something else the other day. I can't remember what it is. There's so much, I've got a load in the what I've created like a little watch list. It's just finding the time to be honest. I'm just at work and then if I'm not working I'm doing something or I'm streaming or Nobody got that one either. Some of these are quite hard, actually. You know what I mean? Right. What is the name of Bolt's favourite chew toy? Alex? Yeah, I don't. But I'll, I'll, let's just say a bone. A bone? Judy? I don't know. Sorry. Mark? Don't know. Chris? Don't know. 
Julian? Doing well. It's Mr. Carrot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. A little mermaid question. Flounder is which two colours? Flounder is which two colours? Reason we've lost watches. Oh, we have, haven't we? Yeah, there's none on the northern model builders. We've gone from 11 down to five. Maybe. I've got two. Alex has got one. Mm. We're down to five. Okay. Flounder is which two colours? Alex? Uh, yellow and blue, I think. It's been a long time, but I think yellow and blue. Really? Yeah, yellow and blue. Well, Never seen it, so I don't know. Chris? Don't know. Julian? Don't know. Is and Dave McBill says yellow and blue? He is yellow and blue. Yeah. Another little mermaid question here now. What does Scuttle think humans do with a fork? What does Scuttle think humans do with a fork? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What, sorry, what film is that? Little Mermaid. She can't work who Scuttle out. Scuttle is the uh, seagull. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> it ring, it's, it's in the back of my brain. Like, I remember there was a scene about that. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> a bonus point if you know what Scuttle calls a fork as well. <gasps> Oh, um. <laughs> so, okay, there's a sort of two answers to this question, right? What does Scuttle think humans do with a fork, and what does Scuttle call a fork? There we are. Now, is this seagull based in Bridlington, Fleetwood, Blackpool? <laughs> if it was the case, it'd be a baseball bat rather than a fork. You know what I mean? So you know. that's what that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I'd say no. 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 You just have to give me a minute, guys. I need to start out a cat. Okay. Oh, not again! Meow. I'm wondering if um, the viewers um, uh, is possibly because World of Wayne's gone live. Possibly. I know it's mostly different audience, but I know some of these 
some of ours mm. watch him. One answer. I'll wait for Julie to get back. Right. Sorry about that. Fine. What does Scuttle think humans do with a fork, and what does Scuttle call a fork? Alex? Well, I think, well, I'm not, I don't know what he calls the fork. Can't remember that. Uh, I need to watch a little man mode again. Um, I think he thinks it's a, to curl the hair. That's what I want to say, like a hair curler or something. Right, okay, yeah. Julie? Um, he thinks it's to brush your hair. That's right, okay. um, I can't what remember what. It? I can't remember. It's gone out of my head. Okay, Mark. No, I've got a clue. Chris. Don't know. Gillian. Don't know. It is uh, a hair comb, and it is a dingle hopper. That was no, it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually said in the magazine, didn't it, for the uh, yeah, Disney Dollhouse, right. called it a dingle hopper. Well, well I'm claiming half a point because I did think it was half point, yeah, the hair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We've got a pink pan question coming up. How many lost boys are there? So, the pink pan question How many lost boys are there? Dave McBill's got it correct as well last time, I forgot to say. And an extra bonus point if you can name them. <laughs> That's oh, no. no, I just <laughs> think, uh, how many Lost Boys are there? How many lost boys are there? Alex? I don't know that one. Really? I want to say three. Three, okay. Mark? I will, for some reason, want to say seven, and I don't know why. Okay. Chris? Don't know. Gillian? Five. Dave McBill says six, and there is six. Six lost boys. Slightly nibs, the twins, Chubby and Tootles. Well, well done. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's see. Aristocrats uh, question now. What was Madame Adelaide's butler called? In the Aristocrats, what was Madame Adelaide's butler called? Okay. Wow. I have one more question and then I'll be just over the hour after this one.
Oh, well, I honestly can't say. I need to. I think I really need to go to the auditions. Because I'm yeah. struggling to see these letters on there. We have Ron answering. Dave that builds. In Aristocrats, what is Madame Adelaide's butler called? Alex? I don't know that one. Julie? Edgar. Mark? Not got a clue. Chris? Don't know. Julian? Don't know. It is Edgar, as Mark Dave McField says. It is Edgar. All right. Last question. Well, we've got more, but it's an hour. Um, right. It's a Little Mermaid question. What does Ariel give up in exchange for Ursula's help? What does Ariel give up in exchange for Ursula's help? Answering already. What does the Ariel give up in exchange for Ursula's help, Alex? Um, is it being a mermaid? Not being a mermaid and returning to human or something? I can't. I can't think. Okay. I think it's something to do with that, maybe. Okay. Jilly? Advice. Mark? I don't know. Oh, voice. Chris? Don't know. Gillian? Don't know. It is her voice, mm. because obviously when she re-meets Prince Eric, she can't speak or see. Oh, I thought it was uh, turning into a human for some reason. Yeah, it is now eight o'clock, so what do you want me to do? Do you want to carry on, stop, or not? Well, Harlex did say he's got he's got to leave at eight, can't he, sir? Well, just after. I mean, there's no only when it's time, but obviously it doesn't interrupt anyone else. I can I can just scuttle off. It's fine. Chris, how are you feeling? Mate? Yeah. Oh, dear. How well, many watching now? Four. Four, yeah. Right, shall we end it here then? Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay. Right, I'll just go around and we can show us progress and then we'll go cameras up. <clears throat> So, Harlix, welcome to you first. Okay, so, um, yeah, um, I've done a bit more here. There's, I've got a few more bits to fill in, but, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm so near the end. Just that bit yeah. left. Just one bit left, hey. <laughs> so, um, do you know what? I'm really struggling with this painting, though. Um, yet again, drills are popping off. There's just, and then I had a massive remember I had that crease down here and um, yeah. I stabbed it with a knife well I've had loads up here and, and the glue's coming off this top bit here so I'm not even sure if that's going to stick oh, so yeah I've not had a great time with this one just the general quality of it but yeah, we can get the gist of what it's supposed to be yeah yeah I'll bring the camera back, you can see it better. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Right, Julian, welcome to you. Good morning. Wow, cracking on my Wow, yeah. 
Because she's speeding along with that now, Jillian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark, welcome to you. Right, so I've done basically all that. Oh, blimey. Okay. And then also I made this Statue of Liberty. Cool. Nice. So, yeah, done quite a bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Right, Jay, we'll come to you. I'll just have a bit of colouring. I've got my uh, Moomin's colouring book out. Uh, so. Yay. <laughs> I love the Moomin's. You know I mean? This is some that I've done previously. So, uh, Moomin Troll and Snort Maiden. Yeah. Um, Snuffkin. Puffkin. Sniff. Jo uh, Philly Joink, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I've done quite a few in here now. So, nice. That's cool. Yeah, we sell a lot of Moomin <laughs> stuff upstairs in Disaster. Um, we've got like LED lamps of the Moomins, and yeah, I love I love anything to do with the Moomins. I really do. Yeah. Oh, that's handy to know <laughs> then. No. <laughs> yes, I'm a big Moomin fan. I was yeah. brought up with it as you know, as a kid, it was always on on the telly. You know what I mean? So, have you actually got any Moomin stuff apart from the colouring book? I did have, I did have, um, all I did have all the plush of all of them. Um, but when I moved from Milton Keynes to Bedford, they got they got ruined in a box because somehow some water got into the van and. And soaked a lot of the um, boxes I had, and there was one box that got ruined. So, no. so oh. I actually lost. I did have a couple of China things, but with different moves, they've got broken as well. Do you know what I mean? So I'm sort of down to my coloring book now at the moment. You know what I mean? So okay, that's cool. That's Christmas sorted them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> Inundated with moving now. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Chris, we'll come to you to see your progress. Yeah, I've just carried on from there. Nice. Wow. That's really impressive. Oh. A few months I've missed. No one will look from a cat now. I know <laughs> they're supposed to be like that, but have you not got the urge to take some drills out and put some eyeballs in? You can't, can you? Because they're under yeah, the they hat. Have to, uh... Yeah, the hat's too low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose, yeah, because in relation to the nose, yeah. <laughs> I would have shoved a couple next to the nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how they're supposed to be. They're like, yeah, Michelle's into those at Christmas. They they do them in Christmas ornaments and stuff. Yeah, the new trend at the minute. But yeah, they're really cute. Uh, right, I'll come on and show mine. Ooh. Right, so I finished off that one there, and then I've just got to fill in this pumpkin, and then I'll be done. So I might have this finished tonight. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to change my camera, and then we'll get some chips. <laughs> Uh, right, so uh, this one. So we've got uh, Dave Mark. Even though there's only four watching, it's been a great show and quiz as always. Thanks, guys, for an entertaining night. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Thank you. And then we've got Dave Mark. You've all done well on your projects. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, do we know what the schedule is for the rest of the week? So it's myself tomorrow doing the um, VW Camper, uh, where we'll be, we'll be going back to issue two initially and then carrying on with issue seven i think we're on now yeah um saturday it's dano's universe i believe doing the uh 
uh, catch up for the early Stover. Sunday should be BS models and vintage, hopefully. Um, then there's nothing on Monday. Um, so obviously it's the the Queen's uh, funeral and all and, and everything. So um, we're taking a break. Then Tuesday will be Crafty Chris with the Eddie Stobart, I believe. Yeah. Um, then is there anything after that? I can't think. I don't think so. And then Wednesday. Back to, I'm not sure what's happening Wednesday. There is, there is, there is something on Wednesday, but um, uh, yeah, well, we need to talk about it after stream. Right. Okay. So watch the schedule for Wednesday. And then Thursday, back to this show. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, should we go around and say those goodbyes? I'll go first. Uh, so yeah, thanks for having me on again. Really enjoyed tonight. That uh, that puzzle thing is really good fun. So uh, yeah, uh, look forward to doing it. I could sit there all night and build it. Really, it really <laughs> relaxing. So it's it actually yeah. easier than the cardboard one that Jason got me. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, good night for me. Thanks for watching. I'd say it's goodbye for me as well. You know, thanks for having me on, and um, yeah. So I'll be on Alex's show tomorrow and then I'll be back next Thursday. We'll look after the chat again because obviously no dog's house on Monday. So I'll be in the in amongst the videos during the week on my channel as well. So it's bye for me. Yeah. Well, I'll go next. Um the quiz was good, even though I didn't know all of the answers, but I knew some of them. And um and thanks for the comment on me, um Titanic. I'm really enjoy doing it. This Bye for me, thank you. Yeah, and it's bye from me. Thanks for watching. Have a safe week and I'll catch you. Tuesday, I think, next time I'm on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good night for me. Thank you. For, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow for the, the camper. Um, yeah, until then, have a good evening. Yeah, so thank you everybody for joining us tonight and joining in the quiz and all your lovely comments about us projects. So yeah, thank you very much for that. So I will uh, say good night for now and yeah, find the brand. There we go. Right, it's night everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.